Welcome to Warp TV, where we help you get good and maybe take some scalps. Today's scalp of the day brought to you by Saitama uh, against Lebon7. Excellent job. So you'll notice today that our video is roughly 30 minutes long. Um, I'm running an experiment on that to see how well you guys like it. So the question of the day is, do you like longer gameplays with no rancid voice of mine? So that means no gameplay on this video will actually have commentary except for A.W. Van Whalens. He actually requested a commentary. So just let me know how you like this uh, style of video. Um, there won't be a lot of them. I just figured I just got Visitors Level 6, so maybe somebody out there wants to see some gameplay of Visitors Level 6. But for your convenience, in the comments we're going to have timestamped names. But for now, enjoy the gameplay and the tunes, and don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe.
All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Next up, we have A.W. Van Whalen. So I'm going to tell you guys, this battle actually ended up in a draw, but it was so good. It was actually one of the best fights I've had in a long time. And I was talking to A.W., and he said that this was actually one of his event decks. So that says a lot about him and his skill, and uh, definitely, definitely a good game. So my first instinct was to kind of start a slow roll and let him come to me. Already seeing a shield maiden, I was kind of expecting a DSR shortly, so I wanted to keep some stuff as far away as possible from mid. That DSR has a lot of range, and there she goes. After a DSR hit, one of your main goals is to actually block the units that were hit by DSR. If you stay with that Dragon Slayer, even the weakened attacks from your ranged units or whatever was behind them will give you time to sort of build up energy. Going on 10 energy, I didn't really value defending those visitors, especially since they've already been hit by DSR. So it's best to always hang back here. You definitely want to try your best to outweigh an experienced player like this because they definitely know what they're doing and you will definitely hurt if you make one little mistake. So it definitely never hurts to sit back and just gather energy and watch what he's doing. Here I believe he placed value on actually destroying that Doc Timmy and putting a lot of chip damage to that Sixer. It was actually a great move because now I can't see what's going on behind his Satan. At the time I thought this Satan move was actually not good, but actually now watching the video I realized that there was a shield made in there, so again, that was a great move by him with Satan, whether he uh, planned for that or not. Yeah, that Witch Garrison is a good card. That, that slow is really good. It lasts 10 seconds. It's a quick charge. And he's got a fair amount of health. Attack too. And he's 4 cost. It's a great card. Of course, we know Super Craig has a crazy AoE damage. So I didn't want to risk hitting our new kid, so I put my Sixer behind him. And there's another Satan by AW. And the DSR, of course. So as his units start to kind of build up, I wanted to sort of reset and get back to my new kid. And start to use that sudden death energy to mount another attack. So you might think that the main concern is this level 4 Satan coming, but after his war cry, he's he's just a tank with low attack. It's actually going to be that Shield Maiden Wendy, and he's got her at level 5. We were able to take care of Satan and Shield Maiden, but we know he's got answers for us. If I had waited a second longer, I would have put my Sixer on his Witch Garrison. When a skirmish starts to happen in the center like that, your main goal is to just outplay. So watch every single play he does. But with that, we're actually getting down to the end of the game. Looks like it's going to be a draw. Good game, A.W. Van Willen. You're one of the best.
As always, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.